Buns, it is Jen. Welcome. I want to come in and talk to you guys about four mistakes that brand new small business owners make. And I want to make sure that you don't make that mistake. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's start. Okay. So the first thing, you guys, is a lot of brand new business owners. When you're starting your business, it's brand new. You're getting yourself off, off the ground. You're doing your thing. One of the things people like to do is give away every single thing for free. That's a no-no. Okay, now I'm not saying don't give away things for free in the way of you cannot give away free things at all. I'm saying that everything you do shouldn't be free. Your free things should be strategic so that you can get people back to your stuff so that you can cultivate that customer, market to that customer. Then you'll be able to promote to that customer. Then you can convert that customer, that client into a paying customer. Okay, so make sure when you give away freebies. It needs to be a freebie that makes sense. I'm going to let my other video slide somewhere up here where I tell you guys what's the best freebie to give away for your audience. Okay, so yes, the mistake that we make is we give away everything for free when the truth of it is you should not be giving away everything for free. You should be giving things that are strategically bringing people back to your stuff for free. Okay, the second thing is Many of us are always having our business on sale. I said this in one of my other videos, and I'm going to say it right here. Baby, do you want to be Walmart, okay, or do you want to be Target, okay? And y'all know the difference. Do you want to be Target or do you want to be Walmart? Now, yes, you can have sales. Have a quarterly sale. Have a planned sale. But you should not always be having a sale for your business because that starts to devalue your business, deplete your business, and your business starts to look cheap. Okay? Then if you always have sales, it's going to be hard to um, raise your prices when you get around to the, that point where you should be raising your prices. Okay? Um, the third thing that a lot of us business owners do is we are so pressed to put out things like blog posts, YouTube videos, um, Instagram, Snapchat, tweets, where we're putting out so much as the quality, but then we have to question what's the quality, okay? Now, that is something that you do in the beginning or you do at a point where you be, get to get momentum, you put out a lot, but at some point, as a brand new business owner, as a brand new content creator, you're going to have to decide, why do I continue to put out this content? Or you're going to have to scale back and strategically start putting out your content. Y'all see this? That's all strategy, boo. Don't ever get it twisted. All right? There's a method to the madness. And you need to find the method to your madness because I prefer you from one small business owner to another small business owner to my brand new creators, my brand new business owners. I need you to be putting out quality things, not the quantity of things. Yes, I know you would love to put out 20 Instagrams a week, 40, you know, blog posts, 50 tweets, uh, 10 videos, 10 posts. That's cool. But at some point in the mix of all of those things, you have to ask yourself, is this really helping anybody? Is this effective for my business? So a lot of us as brand new owners, business owners and content creators, we put out too much. We put out a quantity of things, but they're not quality. So scale it back and start to strategically put things out. For those of you who got do not know, I have a planner. How to... And actually, I know how it's going to look better. Um, actually, had a content plan like a pro. So when you're putting out your content, you need to be strategically putting out your content every week. Okay? And the last but not least, which is my favorite, you guys, a lot of us as content creators, we have people that we do look up to. We have people that we do aim or aspire to be like. And then you start to get into this mindset where you play the comparison game. Do not play the comparison game. You cannot compare your three months to this person's three years. I cannot compare my one month to this person's, you know, one year. I cannot compare my one year to this person's five years. And we also have to remember when you play the comparison game, first off, I have an audio book, right, right. There's room for you. Go in the description below, grab the book. It's an audio book. Listen to it. But do not play the comparison game because when you play the comparison game, you start to make what you're doing not sound or not feel like it's enough. Then you start to question why you're in business and you shouldn't be questioning that, especially if you're questioning off the factors of comparing your level to somebody else's. 
okay we all know this but we still do it anyway so i just kind of want to put a put a light on it or shine a light on the fact that do not compare yourself to other people who have been doing this for longer then you also have to remember that when people have been doing this longer many of us what we're doing is only what we see of people or what people see of us is most of the time the finished product you don't have know how many much effort people put in you know how much time people put in you know how much sweat tears um effort we don't know any of that right all we know is we see this person and we see this thing in this finished product but you can't compare yourself even if you wanted to because you don't know how much effort and time and all of that was put into that. So do yourself a favor as a brand new business owner, a brand new content creator. Do not play the comparison game. So you guys, I hope this was helpful. Make sure you guys go in the description below. Grab the audio book and the business plan. And I'll be talking to you guys later. Bye, y'all.